What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. <laughs> Today is April 14th, 2018, the true, authentic April 14th, all right? My outing number 42 of this year. And for a change of scenery, we are not going to target trout today, all right? So that, that is the good news. I've been fishing for trout for the past 10 plus fishing sessions. I am really, really getting tired of that. No, don't take me wrong. I will still catch some trout this season. But for this video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going back to our roots here and we are exploring a new place. Now, this right here that you guys see is the Wissahickon Creek. I have fished the Wissahickon Creek multiple times, but this stretch of the Wissahickon Creek, it is my first time down here. So I have never fished this portion of the Wissahickon Creek before. I don't know what is in it. I don't know if there are fish in it. And there, are, there is something extremely interesting about this particular spot. It is, I don't know if you guys can see the green sign there from the camera angle, maybe not, but this place right here, right behind me, this little mountain that you guys see is an asbestos waste disposal facility. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys know what asbestos is or not. If you guys don't know, I'm gonna leave a brief definition in this video, Google it up, learn about it, but asbestos is not good, all right? If you breathe a lot, of asbestos, you have long-term exposure, you can get really, really sick from it. So <laughs> I'm a little bit reluctant, you know, of exploring this place. I'll show you guys the sign real soon, but nevertheless, I do need to explore around the area. So we gotta do the same routine. We gotta do multi-species angling. We gotta record the different species of fish around the area and all the good stuff. So I got my waders here with me. I got my ultralight set up. Let me get started. I'm gonna set everything up. And hopefully we are going to land some fish in this portion of the creek. Stay tuned. So I got my waders on. As you guys can see, I am fully equipped to cross this creek right over here. I just want to go to the green sign before we start fishing so I can show you guys what that sign says. I don't want you guys to have the false impression that I am lying over here. We are right next to an asbestos facility. So let's get over there first. I would like to emphasize that it does not say anywhere that this little island right here is a private property. Otherwise, if it said that, I wouldn't be stepping here to film this stuff. As you guys know, I don't trespass. Now check, check this out. This is the real deal right here. It says this is an asbestos waste disposal site. Do not create dust and then it says breathing asbestos is hazardous to your health and right here on the other side of this island as you guys can see holy cow we got like a huge concentration of yellow boy right remain remains of the acid mine drainage this definitely can't be good for the creek but i would like to emphasize here this asbestos facility may be entirely safe okay but even so, Extreme Full Efficient does not recommend anyone to come fishing at this place, all right? I ain't gonna lie to you guys, this place does smell a little bit weird. I am not saying this to, to add drama to this video. If I could send the smell to you guys via this video, I would. It is the truth. It smells a little bit, I don't know, odd. But nevertheless, let's start our fishing session for the day. And hopefully we are going to catch some fish. this place not have fish you tell me man you tell me oh fish on fish on oh i got something i got something there's fish in this creek there's fish there's fish here oh yes son there's fish here you guys have no idea i've been fishing here for about 40 minutes without a single bite but yes there's fish in this creek we're fishing the best spot here in the creek and look at that a little smolly came up my first smolly of 2018 by the way i look at that i am dirty i'm so happy right now all right let's just take a few shots and release this guy so there you go one guys this is our first catch of the day 
beautiful little Smalley, the Micropterus dolomiel. At least we know now that in this creek, there are some fish, right? Hopefully we're gonna catch a few more species. Yeah, that guy is good to go. We're gonna fish this place for a little bit more since this seems to be the deepest and best spot here at this portion of the Wissahickon Creek. And then, you know, depending on what we catch, we may move or may, we may just stay here for the rest of the day. Oh, for sure. What is this? Wait, what is this? Is this a... This is a bluegill. Ay, ay, ay. This is just your regular bluegill, Lepomis macrocerus. Well, two species is better than zero, right? I have to say this was quite an unexpected catch. When it comes to sunfish in creeks, we tend to catch the red breast sunfish, yeah? So I got here the little bluegill inside the little photo tank, just for him, you know, to get some water and the well, it won't die on us while I get all the data that I need, but check it out. Huh? This, is a, this is a beautiful little bluegill right here. Lepomis macrocerus, second species of the day. There's at least one of them around here, and uh, that certainly counts for something, right? There you go, little fella. Whoa. It was, it was ready to go. Fishing has been pretty tough today so far, folks. I've been moving from spot to spot. Only two species of fish so far, but I tell you what, I just found, well, I guess I'm gonna call this place the asbestos pipe. This is the run <laughs> that comes out of the asbestos waste facility. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I can see from over here, there are a bunch of micro species right here in this little hole, you know? I see at least two different species of micro fish. So the plan right now is for me to tie on a smaller hook. I gotta tie it on maybe a size 18 hook. I don't have night crawlers with me. So just one little piece of trout magnet and uh, we will see if we can catch it and find out what those fish are. Places like this, are usually little treasure, little treasure boxes, you know, for life listers and multi-species anglers because you just never know what a little shiner is gonna come out, you know? So let's do it. Yeah, that's great, right? That it says here that this is an asbestos facility. Don't create any dust. I'm here dusting up the whole place. Very nice. We just got a little night crawler here from under this rock. That's all I need, man. This micro fishing without night crawlers is no good. Got him. I got him. I got him. Ay, ay, ay. Even with a night crawler. It took forever to get this little fish. So there we go, my fellas. Third species of the day right here. Check that out. We got here the Semotilus atromaculatus, aka Creek Chub. And this is not just any Creek Chub, right? Because if you guys see, this creek chub here is very, very obese, man. It's super, super fat, all right? So let's release this guy here. I just gotta give you guys one quick video on the camera. This is a real, real fat creek chub, all right? Look how fat this little dude is. Either he's, you know, pregnant, she is pregnant, right? Or they're feeding extremely well over here. All right, let me release it over here so he can go back to the pool where it came from. There are no major predators over here. That's how they are able to thrive around this area. I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting sick. I don't know, man. I'm right in front of this asbestos pipe for about 40 minutes. 
Maybe I'm just getting a cold, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, let's keep fishing. That's the wrong one. I want the big, I want the big mama. There's one down there that is like the biggest of the mix. That's, that's the one we want. Got him, got him. This is the biggest one of the mix. This is the queen of the chubs down there. So let's put it in the photo tank and take a good look at it. I got him or her or whatever this is. This is the biggest one of all the chubs down there. Biggest one. Oh yeah, I put a huge piece of worm. I put a huge piece of worm on the hook just to make sure you know that the biggest one down there will get it. Check it out. Yeah, that's the biggest one of this whole school down there was just chilling there. It's a beautiful creek chub. I think that all the fish down there are creek chub, big and small. But yeah, there we go. All right, nice little fella. I already took a photo of a creek chub. I'm just gonna release it. But yeah, we got like the biggest one of the mix. I'm happy now, you know, I'm happy. Look at that, look at that. Biggest one, biggest one of the mix right there. Look how beautiful this fish is, huh? All right, let's release it over here. Same pool of water. You can go back to doing whatever is it that you were doing, all right? Awesome. Oh, something's coming, something's coming. Something got it. Something's looking at it, something got it. Ate it, ate it, ate it, ate it, ate it, ate it. What is this? Species number four of the day. Red breast sunfish. Wow. Whole day, man. I haven't seen many sunfish, you know, swimming around here. Look at that. So there are some red breasts around here. The Lepomis auritus. You know what? That one night crawler that I found under a rock is saving our lives, all right? This red breast sunfish right over here was so finicky. So finicky, right? I'm talking about you. You so finicky. <laughs> Fourth species of the day. Four species in one day from this place here that is like tough as hell to fish. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Check this out. Check the sample right here. Goodness gracious, man. This is, this is a beautiful fish. Let's release it over here. Usually creeks like this are filled with red breast sunfish. But for some reason, over here, there's just not a lot of them. As a matter of fact, there's not a lot of anything around here. I've been fishing here for about three hours, only caught a few fish. But nevertheless, four species, I'm happy. And we're gonna fish some more too. I don't know, it looks good. Well, just because it looks good, that don't mean we're gonna catch fish, but it looks good. Oh yeah, fish on. Whatever it is, it's coming up. Oh, we got this one today already. The red braised sunfish. This one's a nicer size too. Look at that. Oh my goodness, man. This one's kind of diseased right here. The opercular flap. Dorsal fin's kind of messed up too. Oh man, let's, uh, let's just release you here real fast, man. I don't want nothing to do with the uh, diseased fish. Go back where you belong. Telling me, really, there's no smallies around here, bro? Fish on. I think it's another red breast, though. I mean, okay, we found a, finally found an outright population of red breast sunfish, but. <laughs> But uh, we're still looking, okay, okay. We're still looking for the smallies, yeah? Would it be really, really great if we could actually land a nice smallmouth bass from the creek? Dang, son, you know the struggle is real. When the bass run in the creek right here, you know, we got this, the, the rapids that turns into a deep run. When the bass run of the whole creek produces only four fish and four sunfish at that, you just know that the struggle in this place is real.
more than real. So yeah, it's about time for us to move spots. We're gonna fish for a little bit more, see if there's anything else around, hopefully land some more bass or another species of fish. This is so weird. Like, I don't know what to say. Oh, fish on. Wow, not bad. Holy moly. It's gotta be the biggest red breast of the day so far. This is an odd spot where we're fishing at, folks. Check that out. Huh? It's a nice, beautiful sample right over here. But I'm telling you, this is a weird place where we're fishing at. I mean, I'm standing on concrete. This is how weird this stuff is. Oh, all right, all right. It's like concrete over here, a mountain of concrete. And then on the other side of the creek, we got you know, a nice little deep hole with some structure. Very interesting overall. We got to fish here for a little bit more. And I think this is going to be the last spot that we're going to fish today. So we'll see what is around. A lot of fish. There's some fish. There's just not a, a lot of fish. That's the problem. Like whatever happened to all the fish around here, this place should be packed with fish. For some reason, there's no fish. Why? 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 Oh, fish on. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> son how does this kind of stuff happen i was ready to leave ready to leave no joke we got another species for today it's the lipomis cyanellus a green sunfish decided to bite on our johnson he couldn't he just couldn't resist the johnson with that big mouth of his look at that this is crazy so five species here at the wissahican creek that's good. Ay, 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 ay. As I like to tell people, this is what fishing is all about, right? Look at that. Our beautiful green sunfish over here. Let me flip it. He's more on this side. Oh, that's great. He's just shifted to... Look at that. He's just shifted to... He doesn't want to be on YouTube, yeah? But there we go. This is a beautiful, beautiful fish right here. Lepomis cyanellus. Our fifth species of the day. Look at that, huh? Wow, man, that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful fish right here. Let's release this guy. And after we release him, I am pretty much done for the day. Also, this is it for me, this is it for me. All right, go, go, go. Yeah, this is it. Today was quite the adventure. I spent a few hours fishing the Wissahickon. The asbestos waste site is right up there after the bridge. It was quite an interesting experience let's just say it that way i don't recommend anyone to go fish over there i know that i am not coming back don't take me wrong i know the place is totally safe you know they, if it wasn't safe they would do something about it but i'm still a little bit skeptical i know that they take those procedures procedures very seriously you know with asbestos but it's still <laughs> it's still the creek overall has got some life in it five species that's that's not bad at all but number wise there are other portions of the wissahican that are just so much more productive so this is it for today folks i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little change of scenery from the trout fishing right we're still gonna catch some trout this month but i am so ready to go back to the exploring and the multi-species fishing so you know stay tuned Lots of videos coming up on the channel, all right? Tie lines and take it easy.